Hello, fellow 3D enthusiast. Welcome back to this study on the different modes that you can use in Blender. This tutorial is going to be on edit mode, and it's going to be sort of a beginner level. I have some more advanced tutorials on different modes coming down the pipe, but for today, it's just going to be the basics. So I figure it'd be a good idea to work on something a little bit practical that you might actually want to make, instead of just telling you a whole bunch of stuff and making gobbledygook. So I'm going to make a house, which is a little bit basic, but hey, this is the basics, so let's do it. To get into edit mode, hit tab, and then use edit mode here, or if you want, you can use this menu here. There's a couple of different ways to get in, so I'm just going to hop into edit mode and lay down some basics here. All objects are made up of faces and edges and points. The points are called vertices, and as you can see here, there's some vertices on the corners of this cube. You can also go into edge select mode or face select mode. So the first thing I'm going to do to get this house going is add a peak. To do that, I'm going to make a loop cut in the middle, which you can add with this tool here. So boom, loop cut. And I don't really like the way this tool works very much, so I'm going to use a different way to add a loop cut. So I'm going to deselect this loop here with Alt A, and then I'm going to use Control R to add in my own loop cut wherever I want. I'm going to add one here, and once you click, you can see that it drags up and down a little bit. And that's just with the hotkey, Control R, that it does that. It won't actually do that with the tool. So I'm just going to get this a little bit closer to the ground instead of in the middle. And there we go. Now we have two loop cuts. So to get the peak shape, I'm going to select the edge in the middle here, and then just use my move tool to move it up a little bit. That's looking a little bit tall, so I'm going to go into face select mode. And I'm going to select these two top faces and just drag them down a little bit. So to select more than one thing, you hold shift as you select another thing, and then they'll both be selected for you. So I'm just going to drag this down a little bit and get more of a tiny house. <laughs> so the next tool I want to tell you about is extrude, and it's really useful. So once you enable the tool, you can just drag this plus icon, and you can get this sort of effect. So I like the way that looks, and now I'm going to just extrude the edges out to get some eaves. So once again, selecting by holding shift, and you can see when I'm in the extrude tool, when I extrude it, it looks a little wonky like this. And I don't really want that effect, so I'm going to do it a different way. So you'll learn pretty quickly that the shortcut for extrude is E. And once you hit that, you can see I once again have that weird effect. I'm just going to right click, and that will drop them right back where they were. It is extruded, but it's just in the same position. And so to move these out a little bit, I'm just going to scale it along the y-axis. So you can use the scale tool here, or if you want, you can just hit S. And once you do that, you can see you get this weird effect. I'm going to scale it along the y-axis, like I mentioned. So when you're using the hotkey to scale it along a certain axis, you just type the key that you want to scale it along, y in this case, or you could do x or z, but y works best in this case. <laughs> So I'm just going to get it out a nice little distance from the house and drop it. As you can see, these are a little bit wonky here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the side view and I'm going to move them down. So to get into the side view, either you can click this little X here and that'll drop it in for you. Just another quick navigation tip for hotkeys. One on the number pad is side view, two is front view. And then if you go to 7, that's the top view. So once again, I'm going to drop into the side view, and I'm just going to drag these down until I get a nice angle that sort of matches up with the rest of the roof, like so. So now I'm just going to select this part and the part on the other side, once again holding shift while I select so that it selects all of them. And once again, I'm going to hit E and right click to just leave them there and then scale them out on the x-axis. 
until it gets a pretty nice distance away from the front. Very nice. So now if you go back into object mode, you can see we're really getting somewhere here. I'm going to hop back into edit mode and just add a door real quick. So I want to tell you about one more tool, the inset tool, which you can use here. Or if you want, you can just hit I. And it has this effect of just sort of moving the face inwards with a nice supporting loop around it. Another thing you can do while you're in this mode is hit control and that will give it some depth if you like. So this tool has a lot of applications and it can be really useful, but I'm just going to make a quick door with it. So when you get it in a position that you like, you can just left click and that completes the operation. I'm going to drag it down a little bit so nobody trips on the doorstep and I'm also going to scale it on the y-axis so it's less square. Like so. And now I'm just going to extrude it inward so you can see a little bit of depth. And there you go, you've got a basic house. So I hope this was helpful and I'll catch you tomorrow in a tutorial about sculpt mode. Cheers!